Hello everyone, this is Philip here, and today's tutorial will focus on setting up your new G-Sync monitor. So I've been getting a lot of these questions from friends and everyone else who, uh, the question is, well, I just recently got a new G-Sync monitor. Is there anything I should turn off or off or on? And, you know, s good questions like that. So we're going to go ahead and focus on answering those questions today. So first of all, go ahead and right click on your, your desktop, go into NVIDIA control panel. I already have it here, so just a uh, load faster. You're gonna go into your, where is that at? Set up G-Sync, enable G-Sync, and then make sure that option is ticked on. So next up, what you wanna do is go into your manage 3D settings, then click on vertical sync, make sure that option is on. Then now, you go into your game settings, and your game settings will have V-Sync to be off, because remember, we're allowing NVIDIA control panel to actually take care of the VSync. So it's going to be on, but our in-game settings, VSync, will be off. And you're going to do that for, well, any game that you play. So I'm going to turn VSync off right here too. All right, so let me go ahead and turn this off because I'm getting very, very hot. Witcher 3 takes up a lot of GPU power, so I'm sweating right now. Next up, what you want to do is change your your game mode into from window or something into full screen mode. Because remember, in the beginning, we set up G Sync to be enabled for full screen mode. So go ahead and do that. And then next up, we're going to talk about limiting your frame rates. So if you have a monitor that let's say supports a uh, hundred hertz, what you want to do is limit the uh, the game frame rates to to about ninety eight. So you subtract two. What you want to do is use a program called Riva Tuner Statistics Server, and you can limit it. So if I have 100, I'll just subtract 2 for 98, and then make sure you press Enter. That will save the settings, and then go ahead and make sure that Start with Windows is set to on. And the question is that some of you might be asking is, should I limit the frame rate inside the game itself, or should I limit using a you know a third uh, a, a program so there is some sort of la some sort of uh, frame lag if you use a external program but it's just one so go ahead. I like to use this program Riva Tuner because it's so simple I can use it for every program I don't have to go into different games and mess with their uh, frame rates and that should be it let me see if I forgot something else yeah that's it go go ahead and enjoy your brand new brand new monitor and, uh, you know, have fun.